main uh, mode of decision is to we are creating one custom table in the database. Okay, so I'm taking as a scenario student information and we'll create the table with the different uh, fields, okay, validations and all in the table level. Okay, so first I'll go with the data dictionary high level. Okay, so our web data dictionary is a central storage. Okay, so because in initially we saw that. Uh, SAP is a centralized system where we are we can handle all the modules with, with the uh, central system for the communication. OK, because all the all the business units, all the modules are tightly integrated with the central system, central database. OK, central storage area for the description where we can create the objects. Objects can be anything. It might be tables, programs, all we call as objects. But in this case, it's a database objects. Okay, creating the database objects, changing, deleting the objects related to database. Okay, so all these activities can be done through above dictionary, uh, data dictionary. Okay, so transaction code for DDAC. DDAC is a short name of data dictionary. So DD data DAC is a dictionary. Okay, DDAC we call in interviews they might ask. So what is the T code for TDAC? Okay, we have to tell SC11. SC11 is a transaction code or shortcut of the program, shortcut of the screen number. Okay. So in the transaction level, we have number of components. Okay. So components in data edition. We have seven components. So first one is table, then views. Okay. Data types is a custom data types we call like we discuss LMT data types. And today we are going to discuss predefined data types. OK, that is from table level and this is a custom data types. OK, and we have a type groups, uh, domain option, such helps, block objects. So this are the seven co components or seven concepts inside the data uh, dictionary. So the, all these seven are related to database. OK, we, we are creating some objects globally and everything will store in this format. Different different object uh, options we have, but we are continuing with first one to this session. OK table creation and remaining will be covered in subsequent sessions and usage also will be using in the further sessions. So basically we are talking now today uh, table okay database table. So basically what is the data uh, database table? Okay, so the op this option is uh, in this transaction database table option is used to create a table which contains the data in rows and columns format, right? So this is a basic uh, information about table. Table is a data which is having rows and columns format, either Excel or tabular format, any kind of database. Data will store in this format. Okay, so that table name should be begin with Z or Y because all the objects are customer objects or custom data. Uh, I mean, uh, customized objects. So all customer products, uh, all the customer objects will start with Z or Y. If it is standard objects or SAP objects. That is created by SAP, which is started with A to X in between. Okay, so we can prefer Z in this case, and the length up to max 16 characters. So the table name should be a maximum length provided by SAP is 16 characters. We can use any uh, characters between in that. Okay, and we have types of tables. Okay, so we have three types of tables: transparent tables, pool table. And cluster table cluster table is there in the next uh, slide okay so we have three types of tables so basically we are we are creating transparent tables uh, in today's session so basically a transparent table means what are the table we create okay if you create 20 fields and so on so length for each field okay suppose student number is there with the 10 characters so whatever we create the same structure will store in database as it is it will create the description of the table will be as it is will create in the database level. So when it comes to pool and cluster table, it's we are creating some tables, but with a combination of existing tables. OK. OK, it is not actually table. It will create in database. It's a combination of transparent tables. OK, so only the difference between pool and cluster is pool is a combination of many tables which is having less information. OK, cluster table is in next slide. We have a cluster table. Cluster table is combination of less tables, which is having more information. OK, so in single sentence, I'm uh, deriving that, but we have we can spend for understanding only pool table. We can spend 10 to 15 hours. OK, so that much 
in depth is there for every concept in app app okay but simple for, for high level from services point of view and projects uh, project development point of view or uh, are about roles point of view i'm just uh, giving a single sentence to understand okay so in transport table we'll go in depth today so existing with the same structure in both dictionary as well in database exactly with the same data and fields okay any doubt on this slide before going to next one no sir no sir okay so here you can see components of sap table so just now we discussed components of data dictionary when it comes to table again in table we have number of components okay so key field is one of the component table so key field is similar to primary key in uh, oracle or mysql we have a primary key, key concept which is not allowing duplicate values okay here also a field does not accept duplicate data in it's called as a key field in ababa okay here we call it key field basically it's a primary key okay and we have foreign key concepts similar to other uh, database okay so foreign key is a concept which is used to define relationship between the tables two tables okay based on this what is the prerequisites in foreign key case the both the both tables should have common field okay which is uh, uh, which both with the with the same field defined in both tables as a primary key then only we can do the foreign key relationship okay so, and we have one more option delivery and these are only options comes in a table so we have a delivery class okay option so we have to specify when we create the table it's a master data table or transaction data table or system data table or control data table okay we mostly 99% we use master and transaction data because we we used to develop all customs for a uh, custom tables for business related activities okay so it is specified which type of data stored in database table it is just specifying why we are specifying means when we are doing uh, data conversions or a client copy like we are in 800 client and sap by default they provided 300 uh, 001 and 0066 so these three clients sap by default they provide but the, any process base system will not give access for those three clients so they are maintaining for Uh, safe uh, security purpose or safe side they are maintaining a, every data they will copy to those clients for the backup purpose and they will create the new clients based on the 300 client so 800 whatever we are using that is also copy client not original client in, any anywhere in real time projects also whatever we are working like 200 is a development and 210 for testing the so both clients are copy clients only because uh, any project they will not give access for us 300 for 0.6 00 one those are the predefined clients uh, by pro provided by sap which is under control of the base system okay so whenever there is an issue with our uh, 800 client or 200 client whatever the clients we are using so they will do the backup with the with the uh, with the reference of uh, 300 client okay so whenever we are doing upgrade or uh, migration or uh, that time that that kind of related activity so the data they will use to backup so we have options here uh, number of options in delivery class like master and transaction so each uh, option will work differently so we have a documentation i'll show in the system we can go through that in detail okay we have around 2 uh, to 3 pages documentation in the screen level only we can see that documentation okay so simply we can see it specifies which type of data storing database table because that upgradation and will not, that kind of activities will maybe it will work only one or twice in a project level not a daily activity okay it will happen only one or twice one time or uh, two times so we might not also working uh, uh, not support for that okay because when project is using after two years three years if they plan to upgrade currently they are in 740 net year now the latest version 76 7.6 so after uh, suppose suppose they directly purchase 7.6 latest version so 7.7 will come after uh, uh, next half year okay but immediately they will not able to upgrade because they are in process of developing developing the software uh, i mean they are in the process of developing the custom reports and all business, business related activities 
so they should complete everything so once they completed it it might take one and a half year or uh, one year so in between only they, there are sap will release two types of versions okay 7.7 7.8 so they will they will not plan immediate upgradation until then there is a specific requirement come because 7.8 if it is the latest version there might be some features so they if uh, if if we have a requirement which 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 is matching that feature, then we should go with upgrade. If it not, there is no need of that uh, additional features. If your existing features are supported for our require business process, then we will continue with that. So many of the government projects now they are in the lower version only 4.6, 4.7. So they stuck up in those versions only still. Okay. So we have a delivery ma maintenance one more option so it is specified whether user can display the data or maintain the data so display or maintain we have three options like display maintenance allowed with restrictions okay so not allowed is one option and display maintenance allowed i can see display maintenance allowed is one option allowed with restriction one option not allowed is one option so we have three options so when it is a not allowed we will not do anything so that means we will not be able to see the data as well so when there is allowed with restrictions at least we can see the data when there is a display maintenance allowed option okay we can we can create the data we can edit or we can delete the data in database level okay that is comes in a display and delivery and maintenance so both are in the same tab in system level i'll show you and we have one more screen in database uh, table creation technical settings uh, where we supposed to indicate to the database what kind of data we are creating what kind of table we are creating okay so here we have a data class here also we have to specify what kind of data so application zero is a master data application one is a transaction data so it is similar to delivery class but delivery class is specifying for the sap okay data class is specifying the for the database okay so based on this option only when we create the table, database will create the relevant memory for that table. Okay. It's a dynamic activity, but we have to specify in this with these options in screen level. Okay. And we have one more is size category where we need to mention what how many records we are going to store in the database level. Like we have multiple options 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is not entries. If, if you select zero, zero will indicate zero to four thousand records. One indicated four thousand to ten thousand records. So this is all the drop down values, but these values will decide that how many entries we are going to store. If that is about the four thousand entries is there, the, system, the table is crossed the four thousand, automatically it will jump to the next, uh, I mean, next option. It will increase that uh, four thousand to ten thousand option. Okay, so by default, we will. It's better we'll go with if you're aware of that uh, we have less amount of data. It's better we'll go with zero option, basic option. If you give more option, it, the database will create unnecessary memory and uh, so it, it might be uh, give the load on the system level. Okay, and we have a buffering option. Two things: this we are using for performance wise when we are using tables in programming. So instead of directly load data from database, so first we'll be putting our query to buffer in between. So buffer first will validate the data. If there is a data, then it will transfer the, uh, uh, I mean, query to database and it will read the data. If there is, if the condition fails in buffer only, it will uh, it will return the data status to presentation or application server. So it will not uh, call the database, actual database. So that time, so we will save some time. So, so we have buffering options. So this will, uh, in detail, it will cover in the performing uh, technique session. Okay. So today we are not using this. And we have a logging option. So this option we can see. If we select these options in database level, we can see who are modified tables, table entries in the table level, not in the program level. Okay. So that is about table options. Uh, we'll start creation now. I'll go to uh, SC11. SC11 is a data dictionary transaction. Okay, here we can see those seven components: table, database table, views, data types, type group, domain, such as block objects. Okay. Now we are creating a table. What is our prefix? Z11, right? Yeah, yes, sir. Our prefix okay. is Z11. Z11 underscore student time right. Okay. So he, once we mention table them, we have to click on create. 
Okay, see once you click on create, it will go to the next uh, page. Okay, here short description is mandatory. Student information. Here, the first option is delivery class. So click on F4 here. See, we have seven options here. So if you select A value, so it indicates that application table, master data and transaction. C is customizing table. So when we are creating this kind of student other tables, so we what we prefer, we will go with the customizing, okay? Maintenance by only the customers, not SAP import and all. Okay, so but uh, if you go with customizing, it will uh, in upgrade and all, we will not be able to copy the data. That's why we are going A option. So student is a master data, customer is a master data, vendor is a master data. Okay, tax course and all, all the master data. What will be the transaction data like sales orders, purchase orders, invoice, shipping, delivery, all comes under transaction data because uh, when it comes to, uh, suppose if you take any supermarket only, okay, suppose as a customer, we, go, uh, we visit that and we purchase some items and we got some invoice. So the same invoice will not come tomorrow, right? Because we might not purchase the same items after uh, within the same month, we will not purchase. It might be we might be purchased next month, but it will not be same items. It might yes, be sir. different. Yeah. So when it comes to business scenario, like a uh, more supermarket, if we take, so they have some daily invoices or so daily sales from their from their prospect, it is a sales. So suppose they they have suppose two thousand sales. Okay, two sales. Okay, for every sale they we call it a sales order so there now some number will generate for every uh, sales the same sales will not come for next day also it will not be same data so always will be different data so in our phone pay also we are doing transaction right we are sending money receiving money and all we can see the transaction is the same the same transaction yesterday will not be uh, carried for for next month and depends on the requirement Right, all comes under transaction. Data, if suppose if you create customers, okay, it will not at all. Uh, at least minimum, it will not change off year. It might be change after one year, uh, after one and a half year, like a uh, customer phone number might change, or customer billing address or a mailing address will be changed, right? And it comes to vendor also. Vendor, if they are changing that, uh, I mean that location, okay, manufacturing location or delivery locations. So those might be change uh, maybe uh, off yearly ones or off yearly ones. Not every month or not every day it will not change. When it comes to organization data, so organization main information like uh, organization locations, their employee details. Okay, it will not at all change. So those are all comes under master data. Okay. So now student also are considering master data. So I'm just selecting here. We have other options. You can see table for storing temporary data, customizing table. Okay, protected against SAP upgrade. Okay, in second opposite to second. Okay, C opposite to HG we can prefer. Okay, so control data. Say so SAP having uh, customer have separate keys. So this is uh, recording that uh, system related tables. Okay, which are using for which are comes under basis activities or system maintenance activities or programs uh, or above above related activities. Okay, so those that time we are using these options. But when it comes to the customer activities or business related activities, we mostly prefer A and C. Okay, 99%. Okay. So in between these two, also 100, uh, 100, uh, if we take 100, 19%, we're going with A option only. Okay. Because data, business data always differs either master or transaction. Two cases only it will differ. So now in database maintenance, we have three options as I told. Display maintenance allowed with restrictions. Display maintenance allowed. Display maintenance not allowed. Okay, so first I'm taking allowed and I'll, I'll show you other two options also after the table creation. Okay, so in these screens, we are doing these two activities. So total we have five tabs here. Okay, the first tab is uh, of every object there is, there will be a first tab either attributes or properties uh, name. So those are all like information about object. So it will be auto populated. Okay, if I go up attributes, you can see my user ID is auto populated. Today date and English language packages. Once we save this table, it will auto populated again. Okay. So delivery maintenance we complete. Next is fields. 
table fields where this is supposed to mention okay okay so uh, tables when it comes to table concepts okay so normally in sap objects are we have two scenarios like a client dependent client independent okay so all sap uh, all above objects are client independent okay but data is a client dependent as i told uh, initially we have two types of transport right workbench transport and customizing transport okay so workbench transports are using for development purpose to create a development so either tape programs or tables so whatever we are creating packages all comes under developments okay it will store in that workbench transport because it's uh, all objects are client independent but data is a client dependent because it comes under configurable suppose now finance team or as the mm team there is they are creating some activity like tax code creation sales office creation transportation zone creations so all are configurable configurable means whenever they create new entry automatically it will ask a transport that is customizing transport we are using workbench transport because uh, from functional point of view the data is a client specific okay so if you if you make our student table of the client specific the first field should be client okay so we, we have the field name is suppose if i mention clt client okay so here i'm selecting see predefined data type we have two options first i'll show predefined then i'll switch to data element okay here if you go data types if you click on this it will load all predefined data types last before we session last before session we talk about elemented data types integers characters memory accurate uh, values float values and all those are all elemented data types these are all predefined data types you can see here chr is a character similar to elemented data type okay and client is for client purpose okay crr currency currency amount and if you want to store amount okay currency amount will go with this option for that field if you want to define which kind of currency, we'll go with currency key like uh, INR, okay, euros, the channel will be storing in the currency key, okay. And we have a decimal floats, right? Like a uh, packet numbers and all. You can see decimal 16, which have, which have 16 digits, 34 digits format, okay. That time will go with these options, decimal float values. For date, back end we have to define this. You can see date format, decimal places, float pointing number. Okay, float related value. Okay, integers also we have three options integer one byte, two byte, four byte. Actually, integer is a four bytes, what we're discussing, elemented data type. But in this case, okay, we have three options as we provide in predefined. Okay, integer one by default, three characters, integer two by default, five characters, integer four by default, ten characters length. Okay, and we have a language. So what language we are saving? Okay. So the L, L characters option we have, okay. L draw format we have noun C, it's a combination of both uh, numbers and strings, A to Z and 0 to 9 it will store. Okay, and we have a string here. And a raw string which is similar to X string in the elemented data type. Okay, and we have a times unit where care value. Okay, and we have a quantity very important. So quantity and currency are very important in SAP, okay? Because these two only will decide the business uh, business activities like amount, how much amount customer is paying, how much, how many items they purchase. Items will come under quantity. So that's why they gave priority for these two fields and they provided separate tab here. You can see currency and quantity fields. We have to do some activity here. Okay, understood this? Uh, predefined data types. Yeah, so for the finance they provided for posting period wherever it is there in table level, we have to use this data type only by default. I mean, we have to prefer to use this one only. Okay? So now for first of all is client. So for client SAP, you have sub default one CLNT. We can use this data element. And length is of uh, data, I mean, the length of client always three characters. Okay. And description is Arvish client. See, first field is created. Okay. And we have again two options here. I can see here. Key wheel, key field. If you select this, this will act as a primary key. 
if you know guys i mean if you guys are aware of that oracle and all how much uh, difficult queries we are writing in oracle or sql create table the first field and we have to mention unique for the primary key and we have to define var care of 20 var care of 10 or integer 20 30 we have to write that query many times when we do practice also if you remember that if that query is wrong again we have to check we have to write again we have to write until unless the query is going to be successful right again if you see that uh, i mean table description we have to write description of the table again update queries select queries here we don't need to write okay because this screen will be communicate with the backend database with those uh, queries format okay so this next field is student number i'm using so student number data type what what can we we have to think what kind of data will have in student number like alphanumeric like a uh, batch number is there then department numbers or uh, college codes and all will come under the student roll numbers right so it's alphanumeric so we can take numc value here okay we don't have any special characters so instead of going with the string and all we can go with numc so i'll take as a 12 characters for student number okay so then first name i am giving first name so here we can use character so first name right here you can see select characters so i'll give the 10 characters for first of, for the first name we have to give a description first name okay so and we have last name we'll give i can type directly type character i'll give 50 characters for the last name then we have uh, email option student email okay here also i'll take we don't have any predefined data type for email, but we can use a character. Okay, for that. So character. So I'll take a hundred characters. Okay. I will give you like this. And age I am giving. Age. Age will not cross 99, right? Max, max to max will be living maybe 120 years or more than it will not do. So we can go with the integer one. For numc also we can go. Okay, I'll take integer one. So whenever you select, it will populate it here. So we have to give integer one length is three characters. See, if I give here four, see, it will not take because the number of position is corrected to three. If I give five also, it will automatically correct it. So it is a one is one byte, so length is only three character. It will store till triple nine. We can store in this field. Okay. So next, address. I'll take characters. We'll take fifty characters. Because you have to see my screen, any lagging or any network issues you are observing, you can only no, that will come. Clear, clear, it is clear. We have location. Okay, so location. I am taking character. Okay. I will see if anyone, if any others well. So these are all specific to finance and all some some fields are specific to the industry okay we will not prefer so these all decimal floors we are preferring pharmaceutical industries okay that chemical industry so because the calculation will come in those formats okay so it's not mandatory we should use everything okay so it depends hmm? so location i'll take uh, 20 characters okay i'll mention DOJ date of joining we can take. So here I'm taking dates. We have date option here, you can see. So this will this this also by default date. If you give other values, it will not take. So 
So what others we can take? Uh, we can take uh, ES. Year. OK, which year uh, not year means which uh, is 90s, 2000, not like that. Uh, first year, second year, third year, I'm measuring which batch we can say, OK? Here uh, we can take numbers and all, but uh, for understanding purpose, I'm taking quantity, OK? Quantity is not actually requirement, but we have to understand this tab also that for, for that purpose, I'm taking quantity. So here we'll mention years, so first year, second year or something. Okay. Here I'm taking three characters. Mentioning batch. Okay, next I'm mentioning fee. For the fee, I'll take currency field. Okay, here we have currency field. I'll take this one. I'll give 10 characters here. And so what is here? Decimal places are corrected to two because for currents, uh, currency when we enter amount 100, it will it will show in output format 100 comma 0, 0. So two zeros are the decimal places by default. So on out of 10, see by default when you enter 10, two characters again it will take by SAP will place on this data type SAP in packet it will uh, ret uh, already written the logic for the every predefined data type. So based on this value, it will adjust here two characters. Okay. Any doubt till now here on this screen? See, I'm taking Sorry. student number also primary key. Now here we, we have one more initial values. So initial values why uh, SAP provided if we select both are initial values. Suppose if you are not filling these two values by default, it will take default values like client is a three characters. Suppose if your client is not filling it, what it will store by default, it will show three will zeros. Student number is not there. It will try to show 12 characters zeros. Suppose if student number is one, the many preceding 11 characters will take it as a zeros for the unique purpose. Okay. The initial values meant it will highlight it will uh, by default it will provide the uh, initial values in the form of zeros or uh, mostly on zeros format only it will provide. Okay. Sir, the, tell me again about that currency you entered length 10. Mm -hmm. but it's, it's own some error. No, currency uh, how SAP is defined if you mention 100 rupees, okay, 100 it will not store directly, okay. Uh, in currency here, uh, SAP should uh, measuring that with the uh, decimal places. OK, if you have 1000 also 100 also, it will show two characters as a decimals by default 100 dot 00, 1000 dot 00. zero. OK, so that will be the output format always. OK, currency field in SAP, not only this table, wherever we are using currency, if you enter 100 also, once you click on enter or clicking on change, automatically it will convert to 100 comma. Here, uh, pull stop will not show. It will show as a comma format. 100 comma 00, 1000 comma 00. Okay. okay. So it's a default functionality SAP. So that's why uh, okay. is, based on the predefined SAP, will, uh, this backend code for the screen, so they converted to two decimal places. Okay. So here, what we done in delivery classes, we selected this. What kind of delivery class? What kind of maintenance we selected? Okay. In fields, we have mentioned 11 fields you can see here. 11 fields we created in the table level. And this table is a client dependent table. So if you create 10 entries, this same entries will not be able to see other client. Now we are in which client? 800 client. If you open 810 client, that entries will not be able to, we will not be able to see. Yeah. Uh, why you are taking two primary keys? No, client, client is a basic one. Client. Yeah, client is a basic one. one no, like we have multiple clients in our system. Na? Suppose I'm creating student number Kishore with the role number one. If the client is not primary key, next table also it will take. Okay, primary keys or just so we can create multiple primary keys also. We call it as a composite primary keys. 
all I define, I can define all our primary keys. Max, it will allow 16 primary keys. Okay, in one table. So now we have only 11 fields only. If you have 200 fields, 300 fields, we can define 16 fields as a primary key. So all comes in as a composite primary keys. So data should be unique. For 16 fields, it will compare the 16 fields unique data, not only single field. Okay. Okay, here student number is the main primary key. Okay, if you're not selecting client as a primary key when we are doing upgrade and all, uh, we have multiple clients data, right? Data will match and we will not get accurate data. So that's why we're preferring primary composite primary key in this case, client and student number. Understood, guys? So now third step is currency and quantity I'll show last and the entry help and check this I'll explain along with the foreign key concept not today's session uh, whenever there is a requirement come with the foreign key or not that time we'll discuss this entry help checker and you can see foreign key option here this key symbol okay remaining all common like this is cutting the line if you want to delete this line you can cut this line if you want to copy the line duplicate that and we can use if whatever we copied if you want to pay in that particular position you can use if you want to insert the line in between something somewhere you can use the plus if you want to delete the line you can use minus okay and if you want to see the detail view expand all you can see here okay expanding to this one i'll tell you later okay so I'll, next main important step is technical settings okay just click on save before going to technical settings we have to save so our, we have to save in our package Okay, click on save. Save in the transport. Okay. See, now it re reaches to this technical settings. Okay. So uh, now we are opening through SC11 only. Basically, we have separate 30 code for this. Okay. So you see 30. You can see here. Transaction is updated back end. So from SC11, we can navigate through SC, SC13 okay for this table you can see to table and user ID status newly created transparent table and all so in this screen so what are all important important fields we supposed to fill data class yes because at the time of package creation at all whenever there is a tick mark that is a mandatory field okay so data class will indicate to the database what kind of data we are creating so accordingly it will uh, it will create the settings backend uh, for the database and it will create the memory also okay now i'm going with master data and trans transparent tables okay so master data transaction data so here we have two uh, it, it defines other two options but in delivery class both are comes under single option under a value master and transaction but, but why here it is separate that is for sap level this is for database level okay so now we are creating student master. I'm selecting this one. And size category will measure how many entries. See, we have 0, 1, 2, 3. But this is not, this is not mean, uh, I mean, uh, meaning of this 0, 1, 2, 3 is not stored in the data. It's just a reference of value. So if you select 0, 0 to 1100, we can store entries. Here, I can see if you select 1, 1100 to 4700 entries. So I'm taking as 0. Okay, so this buffering options for the performance of tables. So this will take talk about performance concept. Now it see I'm selecting log data thing. If someone change data in database level, not in the screen level or application level or programming level, uh, if if someone log in the database and if they deleted from there, we can capture if we select this option. Okay, so we have write access only with Java. So if you have a Java stack and all in the system level. That time, if you uh, if you want to access only with Java, if you want to restrict that time, we are going with this option. But this we are not selecting at all. Okay, many times. That that is again specific to some kind of business process where there you have where clients having uh, Java stacks and all. Okay. So only important is data class and size category, log data changes option, buffering options also are, are all optionals. 
I'm just clicking on save. Okay, so data is saved. Click on back. It will go to the table again. So now we back came back to the table again. Okay? So here we have to click on save. Click on check. See, so are you able to see uh, messages and all? Yes, sir. So what are the errors here? You can say this is check table, okay, basic message. And there are two warnings, you can see. So enhancement category for this table missing. Enhancement category for include or subtype is missing. So what indicates that in future, suppose if you want to change the table, like we uh, for the student number, we mentioned numc. So instead of numc in future, if you want to convert it to integer data type, so we have to give the we have to copy the settings now only okay otherwise it will not allow in future so that is that uh, system is checking but it's not mandatory that's what it is showing as a warnings but we have a three errors you can see here year year is reserved word select another field year is a reserved word means this is for sap purpose so we should not use this year instead of year we can use i'll mention course year CEO. So some fields names SAP is using, so we should not use those fields directly. Now see one error is gone here. Here, sir. Next one is student iPhone C here. Student iPhone P. These two fields you can see. Specify the reference table and reference field for these two fields because year is a quantity, P is a currency. For these two fields, is it is showing. Always should uh, we should refer with another table field and table because SAP my, um, will not able to if you give also SAP will not show the data what kind of data we are storing if we give reference table and reference field as per SAP standards so SAP will store the data accurately it will not give any issues and all so I'll go back so for these two fields last two fields if we switch it to currency and quantity in this whole screen you can see only these four fields are edit editable. Right, because these two fields it is asking reference table we have to fill, reference field we have to fill. Okay, so we don't have any other custom tables, so we can refer from the standard tables. So I'll open one more session in AC11. Okay, so refer currency and quantity, what kind of data we can uh, identify fields. In normal business where we can identify what kind of data we can sign like sales order like if there is or invoice okay there is invoice or sales order or purchase order whenever there is a purchase order we are paying the amount and uh, we are mentioning right how many items we are purchasing like if we are purchasing supermarkets 10 soaps or something so 10 is a quantity okay so 10 soaps are 20 rupees 10 into 20 it's a 200 200 is a currency amount so uh, purchase order sales order Okay, so delivery shipping this kind of information we can found this account uh, currency and quantity information. So I'm opening one of the table VBAP. Okay, sales order item table. I can see here sales order sales document both are same sales document item data item data means sales order header is means customer how much total amount he paid. And when he visit the store and all, we'll have in the header data. Item data means what are the items we purchase, how much item, how much amount we uh, we paid, and how, how many, what are the quantities and all we'll store here. Okay, so you can see here data types. If you can go here currency and quantity. Here also they might be visible. In. So you can see for these two fields, they have reference table and reference field. They are also took from uh, other table or SAP since SAP is using they are using same tables and same field refer as a reference you can see here currency here it is QV and quantity so we can use these two fields I'm taking control Y we are we supposed to use for copying the content control C copy okay back here this is a quantity I'm just pasting those fields PVAP table this is a field name okay and for currency I'm using this We provide the reference fields, reference tables. Click on save. Again, click on check. So errors are gone. Now we have two warnings. So how to copy this enhancement category settings? Here we have to go extras enhancement category. 
click on continue here you can see five options so currently it is not classified so selected by default it is showing not classified if you if you if you want to restrict in future changes you can cannot be enhanced if you want to only allow for characters and numeric you can select this if you want to allow for any kind of data bit uh, suppose integer to any kind of backend predefined data type or any kind of database uh, data type to integer characters any kind of I mean, class uh, class data types if you want to change in future you can give full access like it can be an as deep so we'll, we are copying the setups settings or setups we can say save again check the syntax see how no inconsistency found that means now everything is fine to activate the table so any queries guys still no no sir okay fine how i'm activating this table no, sir. so this is last step so in this table again we have this tab tab is pending and this data element is uh, pending okay and these other options are pending okay so this all actually these three things are very important delivery and maintenance fields and technical settings so when this currency quantity will come if there is a currency quantity fields otherwise we don't need to use this table this tab okay so i'm just activating this table this is our table you can see ta bill is a short name so here we sap we call as object is different object name is different now what object we are creating is a table object what is object name means table name this is our table name who who created you can see this is user id okay so click on activate see table is activated any queries guys till now no sir no sir so this is a table creation concept now how entries are created okay so i'll show first here you can see utilities table contents create table level i'm explaining programming level is different that we'll discuss in further sessions how programmatically we can create entries in database now i'm explaining table level only so utilities table contents create entries this is the path you have to remember this path so click on create entries you can see it creates a screen where we can create the student number one i'm giving first name okay a last name naresh communication mail abc at the rate gmail.com age of student okay i'm giving 25 years address something like fighters 70s okay The location also will come okay. date of joining something date so here we use the standard uh, predefined data type that's why we got some option where we can select from the calendar you can see because this calendar is based on the data type we didn't uh, write any separate code like in html we used to write some javascript and all here we don't do it so i'll select some date maybe consider today date only and batch it's a first year batch okay you can see fees i'm taking as a five thousand okay so once we fill everything we need to click on save here so what it what is the message here database record successfully created understood guys here yes sir so uh, now how much diff difficult to use this screen to create the entries is yeah yeah suppose you we have 10000 entries will it help to create entries with this screen mm -hmm. almost it will take sir by single by single it will take, uh, take a lot of time consider we have 50 entries how much time it will take with this screen i am talking Take almost uh, half an hour to one hour. Yeah, so we should have separate option to put 10 entries, 20 entries at a time. Okay. Yeah. That purpose we have uh, one more concept where we can create some more uh, some other screen based on this table that we call as a table maintenance generator. Okay. 
me so we complete login okay this i'll tell you later we have a oh, table yes, I was, uh, driving unable to uh, uh, talk uh, while driving uh. okay so we have tmg concept uh now we're discussing this okay so before going to that so we created one entry okay so i'm trying to pick up, i'm trying to save again what is the message can someone read data record with this specified key already exist because today number one we already created with the if you click on save again with the same data it will not allow because student number is a primary key so all primary keys you can see in blue color content the label will show in the blue color okay if, if i change one to two with the same data okay see here if you click on save database record created successfully okay because only primary key is we change differently but everything is same still it is creating data okay if the primary key is same then only it will not allow okay so i'll go back to the table again utilities table maintenance sorry one second so utilities table contents display about to create entries you can shortcut control shift f10 to see the entries of the table okay you have to remember this path table contents display or directly in the screen only you can click this button contents control shift f10 okay before technical settings okay click on this this is a selection screen for student uh, uh, table any table it will come some selection screen first okay where we can filter the data like suppose we have thousand entries if you want to filter based on student number or based on the age you can fill the age between 20 to 25 so whoever is applicable it will display only those entries if you have more currently we don't have those many entries so we can see the first here number of entries see we have number of entries two entries okay now if you want to see the entries we just click on execute you can see here two entries like client head and student number one with the same information we created number two with the same information so you guys able to see here yes sir and yes sir and here also we have create option you can see we can change the data we can display a uh, refresh also we have ascending descending options filter option some if you have any amount related information or quantity related information we can see the sum we can export to the uh, local file we can send this output as an email to some recipient mail recipient and we can change the layout layout means if we select this address we can put it as a third field in this output screen a building fee we can put as a first field in the layout layout okay if you see if i click on this this are the fields okay we can put here in the column set in different order and we can set output will, will show in this those format in order format also we can set so these are all the options provided by sap here why create and change came because we provided display maintenance allowed see now i'm changing to different in the delivery maintenance i'm clicking on changing the table i'm changing the table see allowed with restrictions I'm just activating again the table. Already we have two entries. Let's see now. I'll go here utilities, table contents. Are you able to see the create entries? It is gray out. Yes, sir. Yes, we sir. Will not sir yes. This. Yeah. But display is there because with the restrictions will allow only for display the data. Display. Okay. See, I I just display the data. You can see now create change buttons is now. It is not it is not there Maybe we have a display option before that two buttons are not there if i put as a put it as a display maintenance not all over so i'll activate this so whenever i select you can see this contents also visible even for di display also visible so you will not able to see the data through here okay through program only we have to access content to see the content data and we will not able to change edit anything will it's not possible and it's not allowed sir one thing if we if we select not allowed hmm. okay uh, once we get back uh, save and activate then uh, it will not allow right 
to get into the fields and entry yes, and yes, enter yes. more data yes yes okay okay although so, we have created we are not allowed yes yes so okay. mostly we are using these options for security kind of data like passwords or information that time we maintain uh, and we convert it to not allowed and uh, no one will able to see on, uh, and they will not give access for these tables and all and that time we can restrict the data in back end okay okay sir so i'll put it as a back again hello we have to is this table in further sessions okay so any doubt on this table creation part sir i didn't get that point uh, if you have a thousand of entries how we can fill yeah i'm continuing with that I was given so with this create option will not help. Okay. Creating okay. one entry we can see, but with this option it's difficult to create. And SC11 is a ABAB transaction, not end user transaction. End user transaction, whatever we are accessing as ABAB developer, it will it will not give access for any functional consultant, finance, SDMM, they will not have access. Right, right. They are only from IT point of view. They are functional, we are technical. So, but who will use variables? not functionals not technicals it will be it will be used by the end users right yes, real time sir. users will use so for yes, them sir. it is very restricted so for for them it is not allowed uh, above transaction okay even s11 is only for above point of view so how they will maintain if we give access to this and they are not from technical background we will not able to explain to go utilities table contents creating entries and Right, it's difficult. So for that purpose only we have a concept called as a table maintenance generator. We'll create separate screen with the Excel form. It looks like Excel, okay. And they can maintain and they can save entries there. Okay, so it's a one kind of tool we call as a so SAP table maintenance generator. It's a, it usually, could, I mean, it's basically it will generate the table, uh, that screen and all, okay, based on this the table. So SAP table maintenance generator is a tool used to create table maintenance program and the screen which can be customized. OK, so to, uh, I mean to be used by the end users to maintain the table. For example, user can create new entries. They can also change. They can also delete the data. OK, so how can we create this table maintenance? We have some separate T code SC54. There also we can create. So basically we prefer to go with SC11 only. OK. So we have to go SC11, we have to open the table in the change mode and we have to go utilities table maintenance generator. So I'll go to the utilities. So before our table contains, we have, you can see table maintenance generator. Okay, so we have to click this option. So it should, when we click on this option, table should be in editable mode, not, not in the display mode. If you click on this, see, it is display mode. It should be editable mode, then only it will open. For creating, I'm telling to, to display table maintenance, we can go with display mode, but for changing on all, it's not helps. So we have to go with table maintenance generator for creating this. So this is a table maintenance generator screen. This is not for maintaining end users. This is first we have to create, then they will use. Okay, so for creating TMG, short name, we call it as a TMG, table maintenance generator. So this screen we have to fill. So what are the editable fields here in this screen? Editable fields will always show in white white color. Yes, sir. So authorization group. So this is basically uh, related to security point of view. If you give any authorization group, finance related authorization group, only those team can able to access. If you give any SD related group, they can able only access. Currently, we have SAP all access. I already shown in the in the first or second session, right? We have SAP all access. If we give any authorization object, we can access, but in real time, they will not give all access. So it, they will be restricted. So you can see here, SRC master data, table access program, SRC customizing. Okay, there are a number of authorization groups. SAP defined as uh, SAP authorization system or security system will run on the authorization groups only. Authorization object, authorization group. Okay, so I'm not taking anything specifically. We can specify here without authorization group. If you mention this, everyone can be able to access this table. Ampersand and NC without authorization group. Okay, so in function group, 
we have to mention because there's no at all table maintenance is generated number of uh, it will create the program at, and it will create the screen also new screen for maintaining entries okay all ob all generated objects will store in the function group function group is a which is similar to the package or we can say container of multiple objects function group okay so table maintenance directly will not save in the package first it will save in the function groups whatever the objects is generating and all will save in the function group function group will save in the package because as of now views uh, whenever we say packages it is asking then transport it, it is asking but in this tmg concept everything will save first in the package uh, function group and function group will save in the package okay mm -hmm. so we have to specify the function okay. group we can use the table name only okay. function group also generating okay i will mention the same name as a function group and uh, we'll switch it to next here we have radio buttons okay where we can select so maintenance type so we have two types of maintenance like uh, we have two types of screens when we open tmg screen uh, i'll show you in that level so we have two scenarios like uh, uh, if you directly go to the contents or if you go two step first it, first it will show the primary keys values based on one based on the selection then it will go to the detailed data Okay, that is defined based on the two types, two steps. But uh, we prefer only one step. So I'll show two step in next scenario when when we get the chance. Okay. So currently I'll go with one step directly to see the data when we open the transaction. And we have to create the screens also. So when you go with first single one step, we have to give over your screen number. When we go with the two step, we have to give single screen two numbers. We have to mention two numbers. Okay. So screen numbers means for every screen SAP, there is a screen number. Okay, TMG is, uh, since we are generating the TMG, TMG will generate background program and once new, cust new customer screen based on our table view. Okay, so we have to mention screen number. I mentioned here one as a screen number. So four characters, uh, uh, it is allowed. It can be allowed from zero to four nines. But in, in between 1000 to 1011, 11 screen numbers is reserved for only SAP. So we will not able to use. So it can be 0 to 4 nines. I'm telling again, 0 to 4 nines, any number you can give. But in between 1000, 1001, 2, 3, 2, 1011, total 11 numbers are reserved for SAP. So we will not able to use. Because they, that numbers they are using for other uh, uh, purpose, they already defined for some of the screens or not so it will not allow if you want to see the screen numbers you can see here find screen numbers if you are not aware we have three options propose screen number display free number ranges here we can see the range number ranges you can see the one two three one nine thousand eleven to four nice because in between those eleven numbers are not it is not showing so what if it will provide this number right those numbers so will it throw an error like you know user friendly number or uh, what will happen oh, it's a common now uh, whenever it go wrong it will throw error it's uh, by default right. see i'll try with those okay mm -hmm. see only these steps to a single screen is not required because we are not selecting and in the bottom tab we can see a two radio button standard recording routine no or user recording routine so what it indicates is that if you select uh, standard recording okay so whenever we create table entry create or update anything it will ask the customizing transport okay customizing transport means which functional teams are using okay suppose if you want to configure this table under configurable table which requires configuration which not allowed directly to do in the production that time you can select this option okay so currently i'm not going with this okay so once we fill this four one more question uh -huh. one more question here uh, kishore like you know what is the authorization group we, you have selected right now is in uh, any right uh, yes. anybody can know uh, we can do the dmg but uh -huh. ideal case in the real time what is the uh, authorization group we, we need to select no it's a based on the table and module this is not comes in our scenario okay. okay you have to get it from the basis team what uh, what kind of authorization mm -hmm. object we have to give okay so it will def, uh, it will decide the business side and they will tell this is the area 
So the, I mean, based on the requirement, they will tell. Like, if it is a finance, finance related groups are there. Like, I'll show you somewhere. You can see application uh, that is not controlling. We have options like uh, you can see a general tax reduce loss. This is conventional finance. TV production planning. This is conventional production planning modules. So module wise, we have okay. okay. You can see EHS module, environment, health and safety module. Mm -hmm. Okay, that so particular module, module only they can do the TMG, but yeah. not for the all other groups can uh, access and do the you know read and write. Yes, yes, it so depends. It's just a read and write. Okay, mm -hmm. got you. They have that restriction. If you want to restrict, okay, from this level, mm -hmm. we can provide this. Okay, so but okay. Uh, if you mention here also program, we can access any program, any model program we can access only from TMG level. I'm telling. To restrict the users because mm -hmm. users are directly accessing TMG. Tab, uh, directly they are okay. accessing table. Uh, they are accessing table via TMG. Okay, that's why we are giving that's the restriction. It. Okay. So under so, the authorization, that one, the func. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Functional. I, I feel so, that functional group is yeah. Functional group is just a reference to the package, right? No, function group is uh, just uh, storing the uh, generated objects like programs, background. It will generate many things because we are not creating anything. Mm. It, it is creating a new set of screen. Okay, the code, mm. backend code, everything will generate it based on the table. So we have to store those objects in one container. So that we call as a function group in this case. Functional group. Okay. Yeah. The function group will store in the package finally. Okay. Function group, not the functional group. Okay, got it. So I'm just uh, now trying to understand so what is the difference between function and the functional group. Okay. It's so it's on the technical. database object we are considering as a yeah yeah function group. Yes. Okay. So I'm just clicking on create now. So whenever I click on right. create, here the screen number thousand is reserved. It is reserved. Mm -hmm. yeah. So with the zero one. Well, screen number one, triple zero one means it's a screen number one. Yeah. I just click on enter. Mm -hmm. uh, I just sir, click on enter. Yeah. Once we created the TMG, can we again edit that authorized group? Yes, yes, we can edit. We, we can, can edit. Okay. Because in next session, next session I'll be regenerating this TMG. Okay. Regenerating okay. means I'm just refreshing kind of thing. Okay. After doing some changes in table level. Let's so now this is a package. See what what we are creating now in this case in the pop up level package we are creating. But what kind of object we are creating? How can we check that kind of? How can we check check what kind of object we are creating? Here you can see this is that object. This is the object name. What is object? Fugr. Fugr means it's a function group. Okay, R three tr is a uh, real time the uh, three tier architecture what we call. So tier is transportable object. Okay. So what object we are creating? FUGR function group. And this is a function group name. So we are creating this in this package. A any object you can see. I might not indicate in this previous uh, object, but in henceforth you can see whatever object we are creating. It will show you. Uh, it, you can see your your object name. Okay. So first it is creating function group. Then it will generate the code. Without function, if, if because even creating our programs, first we create package only in the first session because that is prerequisite. Here also function group is a prerequisite. So just click on save. See next time, second time again it is asking pop up. It is ask, it is creating different object. So what is object name? Table object. T O B G. So it is creating table name with adding s. Yes. So what? What are entries in table level? All the table entries will store in this kind of object. This is a backend object. We are not creating, but backend it is generating. So it calls as a table object. So basically, we can say it's a table contains. Table contains also it will store as object. I'm just clicking on save again. So now it is asking transport. Okay. See, again it is asking one more time table object. 
because the same same table object it is referring to save in the package again it will ask two times as per uh, configurable by sap so again we have to click on save so three times package will come one time transport will come now here you can see it will show some uh, i mean uh, ranges and all okay it is working very fast that's why we will not able to see that progress here in the status bar so now it is completed okay so no errors you can see zero errors warnings you can see that is okay if there is a warning it's no problem but if there is errors we have to rectify okay so now we have to see this table the transaction code for tmg is sm30 so we'll go to the screen here you can see so transaction code for tmg is sm30 to see the table contents so i'll go to sm30 here so i'm opening slash and i'm just overriding this session slash in sm30 because by default table will populate so this is that tmg screen okay so there are many options we'll discuss later now only we'll see the table contents you know just click on maintenance maintain for creating edit change delete anything we can do now you can see here we have two entries because two entries we already created that's why it is already it will generated with two entries in a remaining entries we can create now so these all entries okay existing entries suppose if you want to create now 10 entries so we can click on new entries here so we can enter 10 entries at a time we can scroll down we can put continuously we can put 100 to 200 entries and 1000 entries also we can put but uh, if something is gone it will have we give, I mean, if there is a network down system, will down, right? So we prefer every 50 entries, 100 entries, we click on save. Okay. But uh, suppose now I click on new entry, how to fill entry. What I supposed to fill in the first field? Student number. Okay. What is the, the fourth field? Uh, sir, don't know. <laughs> Actually, it is not showing any heading. Yes. So under the structure right yeah we, we saw that we, we are part of table creation you are also there in the call i i only create the table even after one month if i open the table i even i am not sure what is the fourth field and fifth field right as a developer of course right it has to display yes. the structure yeah so why uh, because if you are going with these kind of requirements if there is a tmg is mandatory we have to create table with the different options not with predefined Okay, if we open the table here, right side SC11. See, this is the table we create, which we created. Okay, so for, for the fields, okay, which option we created? We created with the predefined type. So this is all the predefined data types. If you create a table with a predefined data type, we can utilize for only for programming purpose, not with the TMG purpose. TMG, why we are creating for the users, end users purpose. Suppose as an ABAB, I can able to remember the fields, but end users, when they open, they can see the basic information, student information. But what information they're supposed to fill, it depends on the headings. But headings, are, we are getting plus symbols because we use the predefined data types here. So. So when when there is a TMG kind of requirement from the client, we should not go with three different data types. So we should go with the data element option. Okay, so that I'll explain tomorrow. What is the advantages of data element? And we have to do the data validation. Like a student age is there, so it should not allow for less than 22 age. It should allow for only between 22 to 32. Okay. So that kind of validation, suppose we have a location, we have the student should be only four locations, Hyderabad, Bangalore, Chennai, Pune. It, they should, it should not allow for other location students. Okay, and we are entering student information. It should allow for both small and capsule letters. So those kind of validations can be achieved through domain object. So in SE11, we have seven components. I'll go SE11. How many components we have here? We have seven components table we created so for uh, headings of the table in tmg level so that can be achieved through custom custom data types we have to create custom data type for every field that we call as a data element we have to maintain in table level when we create the table so here we have to maintain in data element column however this predefined is part of data element 
so predefined is mandatory at any level okay but in high level we should not go with predefined data type it will show plus symbols in tmg once we create a data element in data element level also we have data type option there also we have select this data type is one of the object uh, option in data element along with these headings we have multiple option in data element okay and uh, and domain level uh, I, again in field level validation like locations age uh, validations okay and uh, caps letter lower case validation plus or minus symbol validation that can be achieved through domain option here you can see left side we have a domain option so domain is a part of data element so it's all our interlinking so first we have to create data element in data element we have to mention heading and we have to mention predefined data type that is one option there will uh, uh, there uh, these options will not work uh, plus or minus or uh, locations option so instead of predefined again we'll create a domain uh, inside data element it's a interlink so in domain level we'll mention plus or minus other all options validation and along with predefined data type so predefined data type is mandatory in all three levels if you directly create table with predefined so predefined is mandatory if you create we can create table with uh, data element in bottom level again predefined data type or if you want to do field level validation data so data table data element next to domain next to predefined data types understood this pre, uh, sequence at any position predefined is mandatory that is for uh, defining the what kind of data we are storing Additionally, if you want to give headings, we have to go with data element. Additionally, if you want to do validation, we have to go with domain. Any queries? On, I mean, those options will create tomorrow for the same table, and we'll regenerate everything from here in this screen. Okay, sir. Yeah. Now you drive with this. So I'll ex I'll ex I mean, I'm expecting to. It will create a customer table or employee table. Okay, you try with the employee table with the same fields. Same fields means like here client is same. Instead of student number, employee number, first name, last name, employee email ID, employee age, employee address, employee location, date of joining, employee years means you can mention years. You can put ex years, experience years, and instead of fee you can mention salary. Okay, data types are same only. Field names two or two three fields will change. It will it will convert to employee. Okay, and description will be uh, similar to that. A student number means employee number you can make, but data types you prefer same data types for your understanding. And you can do same activities. What yeah. Okay. So we create That's a data yeah. okay. table for next uh, session. One second, one second, Kishore. One second. Just go back to the previous screen. So what is that year? Uh, Q A N. What is the data type? That's all is I'm fine. So previous quantity, quantity. Uh, quantity. Okay, quantity. I mean year year means quantity. What is that? No, no. I this just three years. No, I just uh, <laughs> okay. I just selected a quantity because quantity is not part of student, right? It is part of business data. Right. So we are not creating any business data. Mm. So for years I gave a quantity at the time. That time only I just mentioned. So we have to understand uh, this currency okay. quantity because we have separate tab here, currency quantity fields. Mm -hmm. To understand this right. tab, we should have these two fields in this table. That's why I mentioned for the fee I gave currency. This is uh, uh, some some I mean some uh, justification we can do for this field. But uh, quantity mm -hmm. in student it's not comes now because uh, quantity is specific to the purchasing or uh, transaction data. So that's why for years I just right. mentioned of integer for understanding. Mm -hmm. purpose. No worries. Okay. Okay, just to remind for the today's class is that you know what we just go, we have uh, gone through the data types of the data, data and then uh, table creation and then uh, so what no. else like you know you we have discussed table creation. high level we discuss table creation uh, I mean high level we discuss uh, data dictionary and data dictionary components seven components and uh, we discuss about table and types of tables and we created transparent okay. table here. See? And in transparent table, Perfect. we have again multiple options: number of components, primary mm -hmm. key, foreign key, and all. And delivery maintenance, okay. delivery class, we discuss fields maintenance, and with the predefined okay. data type. Today we created a table with the predefined data types and technical settings. We discuss, which is talking about database related activities. 
an enhancement category we discussed for copying the setups which are reference and how to create entries and how to see the ent uh, display the entries and we discussed and for maintaining multiple entries at a time we create a table maintenance 